Hello, and thanks again for listening to us. Please follow us on any social media outlet that you use, and feel free to email us at hello at thenevergames.com. Especially if you have a game that you'd like for us to play, we'll do whatever. You sure as hell don't want to miss what we have in this wild and crazy episode. Noel binge watches Archdale, Trevor brings a plane to a gunfight, and a darkness has descended over Tom. Welcome to Season 2, Episode 18. We won't ask you about Chet. Welcome to the Never Games. Let's play. Hey, y'all. <laughs> you know what time it is? <laughs> what, t- what, what time is it, Tom? Thank you for asking, About 7.09, because I was 10 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to find that theme between them, their lines. Oh, you got yeah. some lines with a the theme in them? Yeah, so if you haven't listened to this show before, welcome. Uh, we're going to play a quick trivia game that we start every episode with called Theme Between the Lines. I've got some basic trivia questions for the cast here with a secret theme hidden within them. If you think you can pick up on what that secret theme is, reach out to us at social media at the underscore never underscore games or shoot us an email at hello at the never games dot com. All right, yeah, you guys yeah. ready? Let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. All right. In Disney's 2020 movie Onward, Ian and Barley are followed by their mom's boyfriend, a centaur police officer. What was his name? Is it A, Ron Chai, a pun on Chiron, mythological centaur of Greek mythology, B, Colt Bronco, or C, Pete Issus, as in Peg Issus? Uh, I'm going to wait because I'm pretty sure I know it. Trevor, why don't you go ahead? Oh, I have no idea. I don't even know what this is. I'll go with C. Pete Issus. All right. I am, I no, am... no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with A. Going with A. Ron Chai, the pun on Chiron. Yeah. Chiron. Yeah. I am also going to go A. <laughs> I'm also, also no. going to go A. Uh, his name is <laughs> Colt Bronco. Oh, no, you're right, it was! <laughs> Wait, was it really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I spent so much time trying to figure out pun names based on Greek mythology. I could have sworn it was Throw you guys wrong. off Colt Bronco. Yeah, yeah. all right. So, question number two. Uh, in one tale of Norse mythology... Thor and several other gods are tested by a troll king. Uh, One of the tests that is given is for Thor to lift a cat, which he fails to do, only getting its paws up off the ground. This is because the cat was secretly what? A, the sea, B, old age, or C, the whole world? He got the whole world in his cat. cat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go C. <laughs> I'm going to go A, C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say old age. All right. The correct answer is C, the whole world. <laughs> <sighs> Just sounded too logical. Yeah. 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 This is a series of trials that are given. Um, Thor has to try and lift this cat that's actually the whole world. Loki has to race a guy who is actually thought. Um, it's a whole bunch of them trying to like physically outdo metaphors, and it goes poorly for them. <laughs> All right. Now, this one is a fun one, uh, and I will say that there is going to be a bonus point in this one. In the TV show Friends, the cast has stated several people over the course of their 10-season run. Which of these is not a character played by an actor who has appeared as a love interest as in Friends. So I'm going to give you a fictional character that is played by an actor. Uh-huh. Which of these actors was not also in Friends? Uh-huh. Um, and I will give a bonus point to anyone who can identify all four actors that I am referencing in describing their characters. Wow, Options are A. Zorro B. Malcolm Crow. C, Happy Hogan, or D, Frank Regan. I know half of those people. 
Which was an actor who did not, you said, did not go did on. Did not to, appear in Friends. To date a friend. All right. Okay. Uh, I get no idea. I'm going to so, say Happy Hogan, who's John I also want to say, yeah. say Happy Hogan, because I don't think that John Favreau makes sense as a love interest to one of the friends. It's, it's yeah. It'd be fun. It would make me, it would definitely put watching Friends, like a reason to watch Friends in the pro column. Yeah. There's, but, there but that, aren't many that's, of those. That's it. That's the only the reason to watch awful. Friends is maybe maybe John Favreau is in it. I'm gonna. I'm also gonna say that A was Zorro, right? Yes. So Antonio Banderas. What was B? I don't know who the other two are. B is uh, Malcolm Crow. I don't know who that is. He sounds strong. Yeah, I don't know who that is. I think it, and D was Frank something. Frank Regan. He sounds politically inclined. Oh, God. I don't get this on so many levels. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, my, answer is, my answer is C. All but right. I, Both I, Noel I, and Connor are going C. Happy Hogan. I'm just going to I'm gonna go with B. B. All right. So, clarify. A. Zor. Uh, Zorro. Zor. Uh, play, <laughs> Zor. Uh, a. Zorro, played by Antonio Banderas. B is Malcolm Crowe is Bruce Willis's character in Sixth Sense. Oh, oh. he was strong. Uh, <laughs> uh, C, Happy Hogan, played by John Favreau. And D, uh, Frank Regan, played by Tom Selleck in Blue Bloods. The correct oh. answer is A. Uh, Antonio Banderas was not in the show. Really? Uh, huh. Bruce Willis dates... Rachel for a brief period of time uh, and was brought onto the show uh, when he and uh, the guy who plays Chandler, whose name is escaping me, were filming the whole nine yards. It was like a trade-off thing that they did. Interesting. Hmm. John Favreau plays a billionaire who dates Monica for a brief period of time before becoming an MMA wrestler. And wait, Tom... wait, wait. Friends was around during MMA? Yeah, it's like, I would say, huh. not, MMA wasn't popular, but he was like, yeah, I'm doing ultimate fighting, mm. like, where we get into an octagon and we could do anything to each other, and then he gets his ass kicked a whole bunch of times, and Monica's like, no, I'm not going to date someone who's constantly getting beat up for his career. But he's a billionaire. <laughs> and he's also a billionaire. <laughs> like a shitty Bruce Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> it's a weird couple of episodes. Uh, yeah, and then Tom Selleck uh, also dates Monica on and off for an extended period of time, def despite the fact that he is friends with her parents. Who doesn't want to date that mustache? Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so right now, uh, the score Tom's is... response to that was just, yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One to zero to zero. Connor has the only point going into the fourth and final question. Jesus. Anyone yeah. can tie. All right. Question number four. In 2006, one of America's largest independent producers of vegan, all-natural, and eco-friendly deodorants and soaps was bought by Colgate Palmolive. The company in question was started in 1970 with an investment of $5,000. How much did the 84% of the company that was purchased by Colgate Palmolive sell for during the buyout? Again in 2006. Is it A, 5 million, B, 75 million, or C, 100 million? 75 million. 100 million. I, I'm going to say 100 million. All right. The correct answer 100 million. We have <laughs> a three way tie. <laughs> yeah, we do. For one point. <laughs> <laughs> Going into my bonus question. Ooh, look at you being prepared. Yeah. The, two th uh, the 2021 song, White Boy Summer, by Chet Hanks, was That's written a as a response <laughs> to <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion's 2019 song, Hot Girl Summer, and has received uh, flack online for cultural appropriation and just generally being a shitty song. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The flag of what country features prominently in the music video of White Boy Summer? Is it A, the Scandinavian flag, B, the Jamaican flag, 
or C, the Brazilian flag? I'm going to go last. <laughs> oh, no. Also, yo, Chet Hanks. What? What a Hold loser. on. No, Noel, don't just bounce past that. You know the music video to a Chet Hanks song? No, but... I don't even know who Chet Hanks is. It's he Tom is like... Hanks' is like, degenerate son. Yeah. Oh, really? It's the also... black sheep of the Hanks family. Although yeah. he spells his name H A N X. Of course he does. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, there's only God. one X. I really am. Yeah. Future friend of the show, fuck yourself, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? Future friend of the show, Tom Hanks, we're so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hanks, we love you and your other son. Yeah, yeah. Fargo was awesome. Colin is a treasure. Yeah, we, we won't ask you about Chet. <laughs> So yes, uh, I need your answers. A, oh, yeah. Scandinavian ba- flag. B, Jamaican flag. C, Brazilian flag. I'm going to say Jamaican. I'm going to say Brazil. I'm like 85% sure it's Jamaican flag. I remember there was a thing where fucking Adele got in trouble because she like adorned herself in Jamaican flags. I've seen many... Mm. Uh, t- t- uh, and uh, that's all that I'm basing this off of. Yeah, I've, I've seen sounds... a lot of... TikTok videos where Chet Hanks does a really bad Jamaican accent, and it's he's just digging himself a deeper and deeper grave. <laughs> Noel, explain yourself. <laughs> I, I have the internet. You've seen what, a I don't lot know of to tell you. TikTok videos where Chet Hanks has a Jamaican flip. That, yeah, that sentence gets more and more improbable. <laughs> what is each word you say? Yeah. Easily, <laughs> yeah, e- easily like three or four videos. All right, so you're going to go Jamaican flag? Yeah. Also, I, I know they're really tight, but I'm not sure if there is an official Scandinavian flag of Scandinavia. Yeah, they all have their own flags, don't they? Yeah. Right, but I know they're close, and I know it's kind of like a, a, a micro region or whatever, but yeah, I don't think that's a real <laughs> flag. Uh, the correct answer is B, Jamaican flag. Uh, Yay. Um, but we're still tied. More ties. Yes, still tied. Uh, give me. I mean, one if you really want to, I'll... you can give us both the point because I'm never going to come back. It'll make me feel better, and Connor still gets the have point. them have them split the point. <laughs> I'm I am not splitting a point again. <laughs> <laughs> Although, again, it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody, nobody yeah. can catch. It's impossible to catch up to Tom. I need to outscore Tom by two points an episode here on out to tie him. Is this like episode eighteen? Yeah, he yes. has six points ahead. T- Trevor and I would be tied right now if I didn't split that point with uh, <laughs> DJ. Uh, uh, so what happens now? Uh, I'm gonna. I'm making use... a sixth question. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna get it right, and we're gonna go into round seven. No, you don't. Of you get, don't get to... the lines, Tom. You're only saying that because you're scared I'm gonna catch you in the points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The 1966 television series, Mission Impossible, chronicles the exploits of a small team of secret government agents known as what? A, the Mission Impossible Force, B, Team Impossible, or C, the Get It Dunners. (laughs) These sound like all just dumb, very adequate Disney Channel cartoons. <laughs> I can see Disney Channel doing a show called The Get It Dunners. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like Larry C- the Cable Guy's attempt to get back into the cultural zeitgeist. <laughs> oh, God, oh, come on, Trevor. He was never out of the cultural zeitgeist. What? I haven't He's heard that always name been in... Since... Well, you're wearing his clothing right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, he's in all the Cars movies. That's yeah. true. He's a tomato. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's fine. All right. What do you guys, Noel and Connor? What are your answers? What do you think? I forgot the... what I, I forgot what they were, except for the Get It Dunners. <laughs> so it was the Get So it Connor's Dunners. answer is the Get It Dunners. No, it's yeah. not. You got to pick the one. Get It so. Dunners. <laughs> Team Impossible or uh, Impossible Missions Force. I like the last one. I M F Impossible Missions Force. I'm going to go Team Impossible. It's I'm going to go with the Get It Dunners. <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer is the missions, uh, the Impossible Missions Force. The point goes to 
Point and game goes to the Knoll. Hey. Uh, and hey. once I said the abbreviation, I was like, yeah, no, I've definitely heard that before. And this has been Theme Between the Lines. If you think you know the secret theme to this <laughs> no. week's Theme Between the Lines, hit us up on social media at the underscore never underscore games or send us an email at hello at the never games dot com. I can tell you right now, there, there is no theme. That, that was, <laughs> yeah. Those are a bunch of wacky questions. <laughs> And this is the Never Games. Welcome, everybody. Hello. My name is Trevor. I am the CEO of Stickerbox Studios and the producer here at the Never Games. My name is Tom O'Brien, and I am currently working on a previously unnamed show for the Disney Channel, which will now be known as the Get It Dunners. <laughs> uh, my name is Connor Provost, and I have a root beer, which oh, I have not you. had. I haven't had a root beer in like. A decade. That's a good root beer, Did you too. put some rum in there? Uh, my no. <laughs> name is Noel McGinnis, and I am the captain of the Blue Team. And as Trevor alluded to not seconds before, this is the Never Games, the number one rated podcast for all those involved. Hello, everybody. What's going on, y'all? Well, hi, Noel. Oh, Gwen. You guys, I think that we should start selling our episodes as NTFs. I don't know what that is still. <laughs> yeah. I, I just think I'm it's, also still a little unclear. It's Tim Tebow does a drawing on MS paint and sells it for $2.5 million. Pretty I really much. don't know what else it is. Yeah. It's uh, that kind of explains it. It's basically a way of <laughs> no, like, there's no way that's real. It's like, a, no... it's a made up way of producing an original in quotes of a digital artwork. Ah. Pretty much. And then it's all uh, blockchain tracked. So you think the thing that will help us blast off into stardom is making it so only one person can buy each episode? So that's the yeah, thing at about NTF. Only one person can listen at a time, and then they have to pay money to... And then they have to give it to their neighbor. It's, it's, what makes NTF so strange is that it has nothing to do with being the only one to have access to it. There's still a whole bunch of copies of it everywhere, but you are technically the owner, is all that an NTF is. Like, Jack Dorsey sold the first tweet on Twitter for, like, millions of dollars. And it's still Why? there. It's on Twitter, and you can go look at it on Twitter. I don't There's know, no but people are this. into it, and I think that we should jump on this train early. Okay? Right, so, we were so a little how, bit late on the, on the uh, cryptocurrency thing. No, but we really hit the nail on the head with the whole timing thing, as far as a that goes. A little bit, but then we yeah. kind of missed it when it all crashed this week, because now we're down a whole bunch of money. It's uh, fine. <laughs> it's, it's only our entire revenue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we should start, anytime anybody joins the $1 tier on Patreon, we will give them an episode. That's my thoughts. <laughs> they are the owner of the episode. Yeah. Okay. Like, we've got a backlog of almost 50 now, or over 50. We do. And then, once we sell all 50 of them, for we can dollar. start pre-selling, like, upcoming episodes for, uh, you know, whatever they're worth. I think the one thing that, that really gets the attention of people via NFTs is that they're worth a lot of money. You're just willing to dish them out for a dollar? Not necessarily. I still you can... have no idea what, what this is. Well, they're not inherently worth a lot of money. Yeah. It's, but it's like art. You can just fucking... Yeah, it's worth whatever people are name. willing to pay. And I think people are willing to go to patreon.com slash the never games, sign up on the $1 tier, and get to pick which episode you own. Will we then edit it on our website so that it says the owner of, of each episode? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah. Do we need yeah. to ship this episode to uh, whoever grades... Sports and Pokemon cards are saying like this is the real authentic episode. It's uh, in, this is definitely a C minus. It's it's, uh, it's, it's a quality episode. <laughs> it's in, yeah, it, it it's is mid condition. But it, it I don't is, want I don't want ratings. It is a used episode. There there are a lot of watermarks and and creases on this episode. Uh, that will drive down the price. So we gotta we gotta make sure we 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 gotta wear gloves. When put our episodes in when, mylar. When, yeah, when yeah. touching all the episodes until we put them into those weird little. Uh, display uh, plastic <laughs> display pouches. Not um, allowed to play them anymore. 
because no, you know you yeah. don't want them to get yeah, like yeah. overused. It and... does. It does scratch. Um, <laughs> and if honestly, the episode hasn't been listened to, that means it's in the best possible condition. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a fresh cut, baby. It, it is. You guys really don't want to be successful with this, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I still have no idea what these things are. <laughs> We're like, yeah, let's sell these episodes, but don't listen to them. It'll lose value. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Also, just a thought. It, just a thought. If anyone you know. knows any uh, some some basic business strategies, email us at hello at the network. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the most give, basic. Honestly. We will give you. Uh, we will give you rights to to an episode. Yeah, we'll call episode it of Dave, your choice. Episode number eighty six, Dave's episode. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Uh, and Thanks, and I will Dave. say right now, because we're serious, Chris, you now own season of the leech. <laughs> wow, that's generous. <laughs> Preseason episode one, say, starring Chris say, Keough. Chris, Chris, <laughs> yeah. you, you can, Chris has his own preseason episode. <laughs> well, with that being said, you guys want to play a game? Let's, yeah, let's, yeah let's play a game. All right. So today, I have the game, right? I have the game? Yes, you do. Okay, cool. <laughs> no one did it right this time. Yeah. My confidence has been shattered since that episode. Um, <laughs> so today's game is going to be called uh, and, and it's a game we've played before. Um, I haven't brought this to the table. It is in the style um, of a debate, like we've done. You know all about that. But it's about sports. Oh, no. Okay. No, this is going to be a good one. So there are three possible rounds. Each round has a different sports league. And you will be sort of arguing which sports mascot among the three that you have will oh, win in a 1v1v1 no. V1 battle. <laughs> battle, oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Um, Does this so, game have but, a name? Yeah. Uh, this is basically just defend yourself, sir, right? Yeah, pretty much. But okay. it's called... Um, so, uh, yeah. It's defend mascot, Gritty, oh, no. sir. No, no, no. It's called... Um, <laughs> And okay, here we go. So I will start. And <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? All right. Oh, he's got a box. <laughs> I need to write stuff down. I need. I need to remember uh, what what uh, what things you say about he, your teams. He has an unopened box. Like Amazon just delivered that to him. Much like you know Grubhub, if you order something, you can get. Hey, yeah, give me some extra. Uh, you know, forks and napkins and shit. You can go on to Amazon and say, "Hey, can you just give me an extra box for me to write stuff on?" <laughs> just get a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to. You it's have been to a buy long it. time since we've had to say that to Noel. Right? Are to those size it. fourteen shoes? Yeah, that's my shoe size. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so no, you never actually did say a name for this game. Yeah, so the name of the game is called, um, and uh, you, you know how it's played. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> why um, no why so, so the game is called and you know how it's played sure what yeah it's Sold. called um <laughs> all right um and <laughs> so you will not be picking your own mascot willy-nilly uh it is going to be video game rules so i'm going to spin the wheel three times for each of you you get three <laughs> random teams and you have to well, pick... that video game rules oh three randoms <laughs> and you pick and you pick the best one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you need to play more video games tom <laughs> okay. more sports more sports video games yeah, yeah. oh yeah. okay that i will yeah. agree um, that i don't so, yeah. do very much of. so there are three rounds i did have to get rid of uh professional baseball because in between all the racist team names are just <laughs> names of tiny birds and colored socks and as funny as that would be for me i don't <laughs> think that would be very easy for you um so the i am going... have all the presidents so i'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm gonna start round one is uh the nfl i'm just gonna do some quick randomizing and spinning tom this will be for you you get right. to choose between a bronco a Texan. <laughs> Just a guy. Or Just a guy from Texas. A Charger. Now, now to clarify here, can I, can I look at pictures of these mascots? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll so, wait, that. is it their mascots that are getting to, into this fight, or is it, like, the uh, team name and however you feel like interpreting yeah, it's that? Close, it's closer to the team name. Okay. 
Like, okay, I don't know so who the Charger official mascot is. Like, it's terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> horrific. Is it? Yes. What is it? It's like a human lightning bolt that is just like this terrifying mask. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you guys two pictures. In bolt the... man. Oh my god. He's. Scary. You know what? I'll, I'll accept that. If you want to, if you want to, you know, use Bolt Man instead of a generic Charger, I'll. Oh good I'll accept god. That. Um, That's awful. So my options are a horse, a bron a bronco. I'm pretty sure it was. A, yeah, a bronco, a, a charger, which is a horse. Yeah, or a, <laughs> or a Texan who probably yeah, rides go, said horse. I am going to go with the Texan. <laughs> okay, it's a good call. It's getting spicy already. That's what I would have gone with. <laughs> All right, randomizing Connor. I'll have you I'll go for you next. Okay. Uh, Boltman also carries two lightning bolt shaped like daggers why did you not go with bolt man <laughs> <laughs> all right connor you have a buccaneer okay his name is captain fear <laughs> is it really <laughs> yeah a 49er okay and last one is his name is sourdough sam <laughs> <laughs> so you get to pick between a buccaneer a 49er or a saint okay <laughs> Will a saint be good at a death match? <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, it looks like the mascot for the saints is is a is a dog actually. Oh, it's a Saint Bernard. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Captain Fear. <laughs> Wait, which one is that? The Buccaneer. The Buccaneer. The, oh my God, that's okay. All right, Trevor. Let's do this. You got a Steeler. No hometown benefit there. Just, okay. just roll with it. His name is Steely McBeebs. <laughs> is there, no, that can't <laughs> yeah, be true. It really is. Oh, my God. These are great. Uh, so the Steelers, a jet. Um, you, you can take that however you, if it's a plane or like a single gangster. Uh, be, a Benny and the. Yeah. Or, uh, oh, God. Or a football team. <laughs> 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 oh god uh, um i'm gonna go with the jets all right so first round tom is fighting with a texan connor has a buck buccaneer and trevor has a jets um <laughs> i don't know how, which order you guys want to go go through this so i'm just gonna say uh counterclockwise to my computer so it'll be tom then connor then trevor all right. Everyone so, ready? Let's do it. Begin whenever you want. Uh, as a Texan, uh, this is going to get potentially offensive. He has a gun. We all know it. It's big <laughs> and stronger than he needs, as well as uh, extensive amounts of space and uh, very conservative views. <laughs> that's, not, that's not fair. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of very liberal people who live in texas but uh it's also if we're on home turf it's fucking hot it's not it's a neutral site okay it's a neutral site <laughs> yeah uh yeah so he's just got he's got an ar-15 he's willing to use it all right so tom coming in with uh just big strong gun yeah <laughs> let's see yep. if that holds up uh <laughs> connor uh go ahead whenever you're ready all right so homeboy's name is captain fear <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, I think that kind of speaks for itself. Uh, he's a pirate, so he's surly. He's he's been through some shit, but he's got so conceivably. Let, let, let's, let's, just, let's just talk about look pirates for a second here. He's got <laughs> two sabers, and I'm gonna say that he's probably got like four, like six shot guns that he straps to his 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 vest because that's who what pirate doesn't have that. Also, he's got a ship with cannons and long arms on it. And it's happening at a neutral site. Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> there's no water. It's just... <laughs> yeah, he's not a very good yeah. captain, so the ship's just on land. <laughs> he beats the ship, and he's got, he's got, he's got his long arms. Yeah, I, I, I mean, a, a pirate, a, pirate a, a seasoned pirate captain is going to take down just some random dude from Texas. Any Not day with his week. period accurate six shooters. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, man, that's why you have so many of them. 
Plus, All if right. the gun if the gun fails again, he's got his he's got his sabers. <laughs> All right, Connor bringing it bringing it it in strong with more than one gun and a sword. Uh, Trevor, how about you? Does your jet have a gun? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's actually got several guns and bombs and missiles. So. <laughs> And Who cares flies. about your that. stupid little gun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Con- Connor's landlocked boat is going to be blown up immediately. Uh, an AR-15 is nothing compared to, like, anti-aircraft fire, which jets are built to withstand. Like, this is such an easy one. A jet is easily going to take out a buccaneer and some dude from Texas. <laughs> All right. Uh... Uh, Tom, Connor, any rebuttal to Trevor's last words? No, Con- Trevor wins. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if we're also if we are in a neutral area, like yeah, does the neutral does the, areas have air? Right, <laughs> but the plane gets to fly, and I and I can't I can't utilize you my can... boat. No, he never said it flew. He just says it has a lot of guns. So it's just going to be sitting there <laughs> idle. Flies. So it sounds like it's not really going to be doing a whole lot of stuff. If it's just it will be as as idle as your boat. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right. I mean, it's still there. Yeah. Um. I, I also, still. Oh, go ahead. Also, we're talking about a jet, and you've said nothing about a pilot. So I'm just imagining that this is, <laughs> this is just a plane that's sitting there idle with no one to operate it. So it's just not even an equation. You're jumping to conclusions, assuming you're going to have six six shooters. Like, first off, that's not a thing. Nobody has six. They have, like, uh, two. And, like, uh, your, your fucking pirate is going to be weighed down by... Blackbeard, Blackbeard carried six guns on him. <laughs> yeah, did you they were four the across his, four across his chest and two at, uh, on either side. They weren't six shooters, though. They were probably flint single lock. shot. Yeah, they yeah. were flintlock. Yeah. So, six total shots. You have a big boat. That's what no an AR-16 crew. does in one second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a You've big got a boat plane with that no doesn't crew. fly and can't operate on its own. <laughs> no, to, to be fair to Trevor, I think most modern jets don't actually need a pilot. They, they help, but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just... And besides, like, what's going to last longer, a jet or some dude? <laughs> All right. So you're I, just I playing have, the long game. Yeah. I have come I'll to a decision. <laughs> the congratulations, the round goes to Connor. Yay! Hey, what? Are you serious? Trevor. How? It's your team's not called the pilots. There's no one in the jet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that means you can't kill it. <laughs> I don't have to kill it. It's, it's I'm just it's, it's just, just gonna, gonna run out on of the, gas on the ground. I'm just gonna be like, oh, there's a plane over there. It's, yeah, it's just gonna ignore run. that and kill this dude. It's gonna run out of gas. And Tom, unfortunately, since it is a run Texan, I'm going to assume he's never really uh, shot the gun, especially in in such an environment as this. He might have gone to a gun range, but all the pressure is going to be on him. He's gonna he's gonna miss, and Captain Fear is gonna just blow his head off. Yay! This is this is bullshit. <laughs> Next round. You're throwing your own arguments in that have nothing to do with what we're saying. This is. <laughs> hey, it's a Texan, man. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, next round is NBA, and we'll go in the same order. So Tom, you're up first. You have the choice of. Come on. A nugget. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, that that is a a gold nugget. God damn it, I was thinking I could make it uranium. Then. Yeah. A hawk. <laughs> Just give us all cancer. Yeah. <laughs> or a clipper. Wow, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Hold on. What is a clipper? It's a ship. It's a ship. It's a boat. Oh. It's pretty much... The clipper's uh, mascot's name is Chuck. Chuck the, Cl- <laughs> Chuck the Clipper. Yeah, he's a, Which looks is like also he's a looks like it's an eagle? A condor. The Nuggets mascot <sighs> is Rocky the Mountain Lion. Is it? Yeah. Noel, if I was to do the Nuggets, could I do Rocky the Mountain Lion? I won't go that far, but I will... <laughs> I, will I won't say you could actually no, use the mascot of I, the team will, that was named. I will non-specify the Nugget. <laughs> If that helps, <laughs> no, it can be uranium uh, I'll, or chicken. I'll go. I'll go with a hawk. Oh, okay, 
It has the powers of flight and doesn't need a pilot. <laughs> there you go. Wait, so we're not actually using the mascots on this one, then? We we haven't yet in the entire game. It's still been a Texan, Buck, a Jet, pretty all pretty literal to the team name. Okay. All right. Uh, Connor, you have a spur. <laughs> You can just throw it at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who, though? There's not a person attached. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a spur, a Celtic. <laughs> I would love to hear that argument. Or a rocket. Uh, I mean, you have to go with a Celtic, right? Yeah. Or so just a like a rocket. Really to just sit there. Nobody can shoot it. We've already yeah, nobody can set shoot it. that <laughs> as the rules yeah, of this game. Yeah, we've set a bad precedent here. <laughs> yeah. We have. Uh, I mean, yeah, I have to go with the, the, the Celtic, just a really angry Scottish guy. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. I, I'm just picturing a Celtic just trying to kick a hawk's ass. <laughs> you drink All enough right. whiskey and you're, you're going to make some mistakes. <laughs> Trevor, you have your choice between a wizard. I, God damn it! I knew <laughs> it. I fucking knew it. We can a, just concede. A net <laughs> that is it, that's that could one take down net, the hawk. <laughs> one net. <laughs> it's just gonna make my Scotsman really angry. Yeah. If you try to put a net around him, or a pelican. <laughs> I wonder uh, what he's gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with a wizard. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and we can move on to round number three. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I do want to. So we obviously know the superior uh, warrior here. I, I want to <laughs> know, Tom Connor, do you have any um strategies for taking down a wizard? <laughs> so what I will say is that um. It depends what level wizard he is. That's fair. Uh, that is fair. Uh, but my strategy as a hawk is to let the two humans fight it out until one is weak and then speed in at 200 miles an hour and gouge out their eyes. Uh, eye, eye gouging. Okay. Good to know. I'm going to have my Scotsman just, uh, you know that game that they play in Scotland where they just have to lift big rocks and throw them? <laughs> Have you seen well, the Celtics logo? It's yeah, not... I've seen the Celtics logo, but I, but I, it, but Celtic is 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 Scotland. It's a pretty broad term. It's not just that one dude. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. Just like um, wizards, right? Uh, the wizards logo isn't yeah. even a wizard. It's it's the Washington Monument. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah. In so that I'm case, be... Tom can just be like Ethan Hawk. <laughs> I, don't, I think I'd rather be an actual hawk. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to be getting drunk on whiskey and tossing big rocks at everybody. <laughs> this is mostly what I'm going to be doing. And then I'm going to flash you with, with, with my kilt. And <laughs> your eyes are going to bleed. Sexual assault. Good moves. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Bleeding. Oh, eye. man. The wizard's mascot is crazy. It's like Gonzo's weird brother. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, good God. What? <laughs> oh. uh, his name is G Wiz. I don't like oh, him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He wins automatically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, okay. So, as a wizard, I'm going to use magic. Uh, I, like, I like Tom's idea of leaving so that I can dispose of this Scottish dude real fast. Because, again, I'm a wizard. I will stop those rocks that he's throwing at me in midair and just send them back at him which will just obliterate him. And then it's not like I wouldn't know the hawk is there. I could see it coming and just use yeah. like a firebolt and it would explode. Okay. Interesting. So I don't have a lot of knowledge of wizards. It's basically all from either Harry Potter or Skyrim. Both wizards miss, do miss a lot. You know what? Yeah, I just I'll give it to you, Trevor. Trevor for the win there. It is a wizard against it is a, a wizard. Hawk. Connor, <laughs> yeah. you made some surprisingly compelling arguments um 
insulting but very compelling <laughs> um, yes. with, with with the bleeding of the eyes via via looking at uh, the penis. But yes, <laughs> uh, I will have to give this round. To I made your Trevor. eyes bleed with my penis. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> so so there was one small hiccup with Trevor's thing, which I just realized <laughs> this after is the be argument. The most expensive NTF episode because <laughs> yeah. no one's gonna listen to one titled "I made your eyes bleed with the penis." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, moving on to the third and final rounds. It is soccer. No, it's hockey. <laughs> Who wants soccer? Um. <laughs> all right. I don't know. I, I I feel like I've got some pretty compelling arguments for the galaxy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna wait it out. <laughs> yeah. Something tells me entropy hits them first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hopefully, in 15 million years, we'll collide with that other galaxy, and that'll be it for me. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tom. And away we go. First option is. Oh man, blues. <laughs> just gonna make us real sad. Yeah. <laughs> we don't don't feel like fighting anymore. Maybe you can summon the devil. Um, <laughs> lightning. There you go. Coming back bad. strong. Okay. Or, <laughs> or if you really want to piss off Trevor, a Bruin, <laughs> which Ooh, is which is Flemish for bear. Yeah, I was gonna say I know what a Bruin. Is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, oh, lightning or a big bear. I'm gonna go lightning. Lightning it is. All right, Connor. Yeah. You have a maple leaf. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So my girlfriend pointed out to me the other day the maple leaves, it's it's not the maple leaves, it's the maple leaves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it's stupid. like old, it's so old stupid. It. Old old English Canadian sort of thing. No, it's named after a uh, a pin that World War One soldiers got. Um, oh. oh. It, it, yeah, it's a maple leaf pin, and therefore they are not the maple leaves; they're the maple leafs. Interesting. All right. Still terribly frustrating. Still not very helpful. Yeah. Your next one is the hurricanes. Oh. Okay. A lot of. Uh, <laughs> was that your second or third? I that was my track. second. Okay, one more. It is the ducks. Oh, I think <laughs> I'm going to go hurricane. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. So far, this might be a pretty uh, pretty dope showing. Let's see if Trevor has the luck of the Celtics. <laughs> Being an, a different weather phenomenon. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, not quite, but uh, you still got two more rolls. Your first one is the Predators. And I'm, what I'm, kind? Uh, oh the, God. Nash, the Nashville kind. Yeah. Sabretooth Tiger is their, like, thing. Um, if, if you want to sort no, of do... just, the... like, alien versus, <laughs> sexual, like... <laughs> if you want to do the same thing, Trevor, and avoid all those hidden connotations, um, your <laughs> next one is the wild. <laughs> so I guess that's all animals? Yeah. It's it's Charlie Day. That's what it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and your last one is uh, the Avalanche. Oh. So it was the Predators, the Wild, and the Avalanche. Yeah. Tom, what did you go with? Lightning. Well, lightning. 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 Hurricane. Hurricane. <laughs> and Predators. <laughs> I'm going to go with the concept of the wild. <laughs> All right. Quote, wild, unquote. <laughs> um, all right. Whenever you're ready, Tom, kick us off. All right. So I will say that uh, a significant part of the wild is uh, woods, forests, things like that. Forest fires are generally started by lightning strikes. And I will argue that a hurricane cannot stop lightning, for lightning is a subset. It is couched within the hurricane. You can you cannot defeat me before I am part of you, Connor. <laughs> All right, Tom. Compelling nesting doll argument. Uh, Connor, what say you? Uh, I think I think the fact that you are part of me is what is like makes me stronger than you. Like, and also, it's not like, about strength. It's about who wins the fight. Well, when when the hurricane like 
there's more to a hurricane than just lightning strikes. Like I've got I've got winds, I've got fucking rain, I've got hail a lot of times, I've got flooding. None of, none of which are hotter than the surface of the sun. It, okay. But which a lightning strike <laughs> is. All right, but if the hurricane dissipates, the lightning stops also. Um, oh, you're saying if you die, I also die? <laughs> yeah, if the hurricane stops, the lightning goes away. But also, the lightning like only happens for a very short amount of time within the hurricane. I, and happens I in a lot you. of places that aren't hurricanes. I direct you. I tell you where to go, because the hurricane <laughs> moves and you follow me. You're just a fucking sheep, man. And as far as the <laughs> wild is concerned... Like, a hurricane's coming through is going to kill all those little critters if they don't get out of the way. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm killing, I'm killing, knocking down all your trees. I'm flooded, flooding your areas. I'm killing all your little critters. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's, the, the wild ain't got shit on a hurricane. All right, Connor coming in strong with a Harry Potter-like, if I go, you go, and killing animals technique. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Trevor. You guys are acting as if uh, suddenly the wild doesn't exist anymore just because it was a little windy. Like, the wild doesn't go away. Like, yeah, you can kill a couple animals if you really want to, Connor. But after, there's going to be more animals that come in, repopulate. Yeah, start a fire. That's just the, like, circle of life, Tom. <laughs> burn down a few trees that's just mulch for the ones that will grow out of it the wild is a phoenix the wild is a phoenix whoa you want to say that lightning is of hurricanes all of it is of the wild it doesn't go away damn dog <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a lot of hurricanes every year, and they kill a lot of they kill a lot of wilderness. Yeah, why do they keep finding new wilderness to kill? It's because it doesn't go away. It will eventually. Right. Connor blows hard hard enough. Yeah, Trevor with the godlike "I am everything" tactic. Um, oh man! I just want to say that humans are hard at work killing the wild so like you're already fairly weak <laughs> yeah but you're a hurricane you're a hurricane that's not what you you don't kill the wild i'm just saying that you're already Un weak you're you're being killed every day unfortunately no one picked the tuscaloosa humans uh, <laughs> as their mascot <laughs> so that the argument is, is invalid yes um i'm just saying he's fighting in a weakened state it's still stronger than a hur hurricane stop <laughs> this is a neutral area. You're not going to be like just this off the coast. Of, this is a neutral You're not area <laughs> in the fight between a yeah. hurricane and the wild. <laughs> You're not going to be off the coast of Florida forever, Connor. What is actually the sending wind into will slow this fight, down. Trevor? Just like some birds in a tree. I told you, the concept of the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's just a concept. So it's something that exists in somebody's brain. Someone who can be killed by a lightning. Yeah, it's the, it's the by human a name. Lightning. It's the human name given to the ever-present existence. Right, but you're saying you're not. Us. You're saying you're not fighting with the actual wilderness. You're just fighting with the concept. So you're you're fighting no. with the thought process. I'm saying that if if we're seeing which goes away first, lightning lasts a fraction of a second. Hurricanes, what two weeks? The wild doesn't stop. I don't know. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm still I'm, I'm hung up on the idea that you say that you're fighting with the concept. <laughs> I'm just going to kill that person who has that thought. <laughs> There's you're going to kill literally everybody. Yeah. One hurricane is going to completely eliminate humanity. Yeah. Except for Dennis Quaid. <laughs> Dennis Quaid will live on in the concept of the wild will. Did you, get, did you guys get that? that? That was an often pertinent day after tomorrow reference. <laughs> All right. I, All right. I, do have an, uh, I do have a victor. Um, Trevor, you were looking very strong until, I don't know, two, three minutes ago. <laughs> Um, <laughs> when, did I get too spiritual with it? No, you actually, yeah, you did. You were talking about the whole concept of the wild. I did like your Phoenix, uh, your Phoenix alg or algorithm um, <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> metaphor. Um, but yeah, everything after that sort of slipped you back down into second place. What? 
I am going to have to say congratulations to Connor. Yeah. God. The damn it. only reason being hurricanes do have lightning, but not all lightning has hurricanes. <laughs> But it so all that requires <laughs> the wild. <laughs> yeah. But if it's just a mindset. It's, it's not, not just a mindset. It's <laughs> it's the human name given to the presence. Congratulations to Connor. <laughs> 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 uh, th- this has been my game. Uh, I-, I hope you guys had fun. <laughs> so the game is just called. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right. Shall we jump into a break? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Today's episode of The Never Games is brought to you by Omeo. Omeo is a travel booking platform that makes planning a journey in Europe and North America effortless. Just enter your travel details and Omeo will magically give you all the train, bus, flight, and ferry options for your journey. It's never been simpler to book your first real vacation for 2021. Best of all, using Omeo saves you time and money. That's a win-win in our books. Omeo wants to help you leave your house this summer by offering 5% off your next booking. Just head to omeo.com and use the code LISTENER5 at checkout. Valid until July 31st for new users on all modes of transportation. It is just the pick-me-up 2021 needs. Omeo, plan, book, and love the journey. Terms and conditions apply. Hey, everybody, you know what time it is? Let's Yay! Play. It's yeah, time to time reveal time. last week's theme between the lines. Did you, did you guys get it? Did you know what it was? I forgot. Uh, what was the... It was I, like, don't, I don't... Did we do one last week? Yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. I did it. Uh, I'm going to say booze. Well, it was booze, but it was more specifically bourbon. Uh, <laughs> that delicious, <laughs> delicious brown beverage. Uh, yeah, it was a question about corn. There was a question about Kentucky. Uh, the one that you guys didn't like is there was a question that involved a span of two years, which is how long it needs to age to be considered bourbon. So, Jeez. Yeah. God. Yep. Connor, quick. Well, what's it considered if it doesn't age for two years? Uh, I think it's I, just whiskey. No, I forget what it's. I forget what Vodka. It, what it's called when it like goes into the barrel, but there is a specific name for it when it goes into the barrel. Root beer. Is you, <laughs> are you asking because you know? I, I'm pretty sure it's it's still just mash. No, there's there is an actual name for it. I found it. I found it when I was. Uh, this was supposed to be a funny. Questions. This was supposed to be a funny cutaway, <laughs> not a. Oh well, I wanted this. To, okay, well, yeah. So congratulations <laughs> to no one. If you think you know the answer to this week's theme between the lines, hit us up. You can email us at hello at nevergames.com. You can give us a call at uh, four. Wait, I almost did it. Four zero six games twenty four. Yeah, yeah. Yep. there yep. you go. Yeah, and then uh, all social media at the underscore never underscore games. Chicka chow. Why don't we? Why don't we? <laughs> Why don't we talk about your bug hickey? <laughs> <laughs> Will that make you happy? I don't want to talk about it again. About what? <laughs> oh, yeah, so you weren't on the call yet. So I have this bug bite on my neck that is very hickey-ish. It's, it's, it's bad, and it hurts, and it stings. But because and he has this bug bite, which, yeah, again, made, a bug bite, not a hickey. Not a hickey. It made me... Like I've never gotten a hickey, but I've absentmindedly given hickeys out out. out. Um, and, and <laughs> just just passing them out, them out. Yeah. and a hickey for you, sir. And, 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 and I you. feel and I feel and now I feel bad because they they weren't happy when I gave them the hickey, 
but yeah. like it made it <laughs> really made me reflect on <laughs> on on what hickeys are and it's it's a bug bite still but you know i think it's funny that you're concerned that like you were just making people itchy like they don't yeah. hickeys don't itch <laughs> my guy they're just bruises not an embarrassing giant bruise on their neck yeah, yeah that's, that's what they're itchy. mad about <laughs> <laughs> i i had a friend in college who uh had a hickey and was going to do some like yard work for his grandmother and was just like, oh, I've got to hide this. Put a big Band-Aid on his neck. And then <laughs> when his grandmother was like, oh, God, what happened? He was like, uh, I cut it. <laughs> she was like, you cut your neck? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Backfired. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, God, I made this like, much worse. Uh, I've been stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was hit by a car. <laughs> And I'm covering it with this band-aid. <laughs> yeah. It was a very localized hit. I'm, everything else was fine. They used it was to... a very tiny car. It was, a, it was one of those Hot Wheels. It was a, it was a matchbox. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right, what's, what's next on the docket? Yeah, we should move on. Uh... The Multimedia Minute. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. Um... Sorry, Trevor. I didn't do anything <laughs> else. Um, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to talk about Loki. It is the third MCU TV show to premiere on Disney+. Plus. Uh, there are three episodes of it out uh, at the time of this recording, and also at the time that people would be able to listen to this. Cause they, yes, they, at the mind. time of release yeah, as well. It's released every, yeah, it is released every <laughs> Wednesday. It's awesome. I like it a lot. Uh, it's it's These past three shows seem like they're they're basically like setting up for these characters like next respective movies but that's not so much the case with Loki because if you remember uh in Endgame or in Infinity War Loki uh bit the spoiler. bullet spoiler alert yeah yeah spoiler He's alert dead. he he died but <laughs> then Endgame happens and they do the again more spoilers but it's been long enough you should have seen the movie by now it's been so long yeah <laughs> time travel. They do the time travel thing, and past Loki managed to get his hands on the Tesseract and disappears with it. This is answering where he went, essentially. But it basically it just gives us a lot more time with like one of the most beloved characters in all of the MCU, like one of the few really compelling three dimensional villains that the MCU has had, and it puts him like right in front and center. He's not relegated to like a side character position, uh, and he's just a fascinating character. It's really cool what they're doing with all the the time stuff, um, but I do think that this is eventually going to lead us into um, like the doc new next Doctor Strange movie, Multiverse of Madness, because it is experiencing like different timelines and different multiverses and all that kind of thing. So it's really really cool. It's a lot of fun. I am really intrigued how this is going to butt up against Doctor Strange. Yeah. Um, I will say. The one critique I have of this show so far is that superhero gets involved in time travel, ends up meeting time police, has to join time police with a 1950s vibe. I feel like there are like 12 shows that are described as that. Like that's Umbrella Academy, that's uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow, that's, you know, to a, to a lesser extent, like Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that the way it's, the show is doing it is really effective. I'm just surprised that a show that was pitched like that, that there are so many fun things you can do with Loki. Right. And this, what I, my understanding is that this was a great arc in the comics. Yeah. But that, like, I feel like there, there are other cool things they could have done with Loki that feel like a more original plot. But isn't that sort of congruent with... I, I guess not WandaVision, but I feel like the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was also very predictable in the same same sense. You know, it was very cut and dry sort of style. Like the whole format was exactly a, a conventional action movie. There wasn't that much, you know. Right. I mean, coloring, I think, well, I think there's something the different lines. between conventional action movie as a genre and superhero becomes time detective as a very specific well i mean right, I, I, I will I, mean, I will grant you that the concept itself isn't necessarily like anything new or groundbreaking but within that what how they're handling it and what they're addressing is um, yes I, I will agree to that yeah. and, at, and at some point you just have to you know stop and say you know 
everything has been done before. Let's do it again, but differently. And I guess that's the best way you can right. go about doing anything because you, it's so impossible to make something brand new in this day and age. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Trevor, what are your thoughts? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I see as a as a counterpoint. Um, like we see, I think pretty early in episode one that uh, Loki is DB Cooper. Yeah, which oh, is so yeah. cool. <laughs> which uh, he did as a dare with Thor. <laughs> and I would love a show where each episode doesn't even have an overarching plot, but it's just like all of the crazy humans throughout history that Loki was. Yeah. That's like, give I've... me the episode or the, just the episode where Thor dares Loki to steal a whole bunch of money. And Loki comes up with this crazy plan to rob a bank and hijack a plane and jump out of the plane it... and executes it flawlessly. It does... So I've only, yeah, I've only watched one episode so far. And I honestly thought that's where it was still going, but apparently not. Yeah, no, it is. It is a no, exploring fine, the main overall plot, um, which this isn't much of a spoiler because it's it's in the very first episode and like it kind of sets up the show. Is that the reason that they're that Loki is being involved with the TVA, the Time Variance Authority, or Time Police, as Tom referred to earlier, is because there's another variant that's running around that's killing Time Police officers, and that variant just so happens to be a different version of Loki. So where it's it's really cool because because of that it's exploring so much more of his like psyche and his thought processes like every episode they're like why like why would you do this and he's like this isn't me this isn't this is a different version of me but like here's my insight and it's kind of cool yeah, it like I, really dives deep into like his psyche and and like why he does what he does having not seen episode 3 and therefore not being able to comment on it um I am intrigued to see how this different loki is different like yeah. how it further explores his personality and like giving me some of the stuff that i want yeah so it's exciting i mean to some degree these shows are a little bit of like filler in between the larger movies but it's cool to have this format where you can explore these characters a little bit more in depth and like give time to you know give time to like all of these characters that the three shows that have been released were basically side characters you know they weren't like yeah. they weren't like captain america they weren't iron man they weren't any of the like original avengers but they were smaller characters that now have been given like a much larger role to play in the absence of two of the biggest three of the biggest heroes that the mcu produced so i, I do like that these shows are getting to be not just like big uh action set pieces but right. getting to be character studies right i mean they all are big action set pieces because that's what people want from marvel things but we're taking a lot more time to learn about who these characters are what drives them yeah um, and along that vein one thing that makes me very very excited this is a little bit of a spoiler but it's just a tiny moment it's not anything con consequential to the show but they did finally address loki's bisexuality which makes me very 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 happy and it's just like a one-off line in in the next episode that you guys haven't seen yet but it, it's just a, a random line that comes up which is cool i love when uh i was having this conversation with i forget who the other day um but we were talking about star trek like the new the new star trek reboot and how they because they were because george takei is obviously gay and like people thought that sulu might be gay they made him gay in the reboot and, canonically gay yeah yeah and and they didn't even address it there wasn't a big thing it was literally just like he came home and like hugged his husband and that's kind of how it happens in loki as well which i love that they're not making like these big and grand announcements and being like i'm bisexual blah. it's just like oh yeah that's that's a thing so yeah owen wilson's in it Owen Wilson Loki, is in it, and he's Loki, not not awesome. Star Trek. Yeah. Okay, you like it? Oh, I think he's great. I thought it was a weird choice. Only watching the first episode again, I thought it was a weird choice. I wasn't entirely displeased. Like, I still liked it, but immediately off the bat, I thought of like five other actors that probably could have done it better. I think um, he's doing a great job. Uh, yeah. I think okay. Their their chemistry as as the show continues, their chemistry in particular is really good. I will say that I think that Marvel movie and Owen Wilson is not a combination that I normally think of. Right. But 
Uh, I think he's doing a good job. And also, Marvel is getting to a point where there are so many properties yeah. that they have to like just take any, not just take any uh, actor they can get, but they're getting to a point where it's like, you know, Lord of the Rings cast virtually every well-known British actor. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Marvel's getting to that kind of point. Yeah, when I was first imagining like who else could play this, um, uh, Owen Wilson's character, I was like, you know what? I think, I think Martin Freeman as like an agent would be really good. And then I thought, I was like, oh no, he's uh, he already was that. Yep. And 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 the Black Panther. Yep. So, so yeah, you're you're definitely sort of not necessarily grasping at straws, but yeah, you're 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 kind of you're using everyone in hollywood up i will agree that when it, the show was first announced and i saw him on the cast i didn't necessarily like i thought it was a weird choice but like again mm. I, I think he's doing he's doing a great job he's i mean he has history in comedic films so like and loki is inherently a very funny character so to have them like riff back and forth a little bit is is kind of cool so um yeah I, I i think it was an interesting choice but i, I think it's working out well, yeah. Well, Loki, where Loki teams up with Owen Wilson and the Tennessee Valley Authority to fight time bandits. Check it out. All right. <laughs> all right. That's that's all I was thinking of when they whenever they said TVA is like Tennessee Valley Authority. Okay. That's uh, that, that is just <laughs> me apparently. Yep. That that would be you. <laughs> yeah. Trevor. All right. Watch a Marvel yeah. property. What? For the love of God. Just watch one. I can't now. Why? Because I've invested too much in this character version of <laughs> myself that has never seen any. He's going to be in the next movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the real thing. Under contract. <laughs> yeah. Trevor He's not allowed to talk, talk about. <laughs> Owen Wilson will rip off a mask and reveal that he's actually Trevor. Yeah. He's just like, hey. And then he will also rip off his sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually... He, Trevor is the reason why Thor generally doesn't have sleeves on when he's fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor is a costume designer for, <laughs> for all of the Marvel properties. He's like, oh, there's way too many sleeves in here. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Do we, uh, we want to move on? Yes. Yeah. All right. It is time for Are You Ready to Order? The way that this game is played, if you haven't heard it before, uh, I have gathered a top five list and randomized it. And the first four I am going to give to these guys one at a time, and they're going to have to try and guess where on that top five list it falls. The last round, they're going to have to try and guess what the fifth item is, and it could be any of the items on the top five list. This is scored like golf. If they guess the spot of one of them, they get zero points and then for each spot that they are off they get a point if they get it right on the fifth round when they're guessing which item it is then they lose two points and whoever gets the lowest score wins for everyone listening if you're very confused by that description don't worry so are we yeah it makes, and in about <laughs> it makes sense when uh, yeah when it makes sense it. when we start playing yeah it, but... in about 15 seconds it'll all clear up all right so my top five list, you guys, the other day, Netflix released a huge chunk of data. And this website, uh, what's on Netflix.com, gathered it up and made some lists. I've chosen the list which English language Netflix original TV show has been watched the most times. Okay. Okay. All right. Jeez. In the last round, I will let you get uh, ask me if certain shows are Netflix originals, because I know that's a little specific, but the data that Netflix released was only Netflix originals. Okay, sure. So that's what I've got. Up first is the show Bridgerton. Is that the uh, new one? Or relatively yeah, new? British yeah. period piece came out in January. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say four. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go two. All right. Up next, Tiger King. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Can't believe uh, that's in the top five. I'm going to go number three. I'm going to go three. I'm going to go four. Okay. Number three, Queen's Gambit. Oh, so good. I'm going to go two. I'm going to go three again. I'm, I, I am also going to go two on that. All right. Round number four, Stranger Things. Now, see, this one, I feel like, purely because it has more seasons. Yeah. So I'm going to go number one. I am, I'm also going to go number one on that one. It's hugely popular. I'm going to go two. I'm trying to think of Netflix original shows. All I think of is The Office, and that's not. I a know it came original. out. That is not. I know it came Netflix out before original. Netflix, <laughs> but <laughs> maybe, maybe there is some. And weird... it's no longer on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but Netflix and The Office are are these two massive entities that maybe they just. What's the opposite of uh, of mitosis, where they fuse together? It's, they just ma- magically fuse and they're one Cytosis. being. Well, it's not even on Netflix yeah, anymore. Yeah. Right, but it's still Netflix. It, it can go wherever it wants to, man. It's still Netflix. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of... Yes, for the listeners, this is round number five now, which means they're going to have to try and guess what top five show is not oh. already said on this list. Uh... I can really, no, I, for some reason, I can only this, think of one. This is all time? Yes. Okay. Trino- no, Chernobyl was HBO. Yes, it Damn. was. I'm going to say Grace and Frankie. That's a good one. I'm going to say... Thir- is it cheating if I look at my Netflix? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say 13 <laughs> Reasons Why. I don't feel confident about it, but I can't really think of many other Netflix originals. I'm, I'm blanking so hard. Would Arrested Development count? Because the that like last season <laughs> was made by Netflix. Uh, that would not. That would not count. Okay. Yeah. Is Archdale a thing? Are you think of Riverdale? Riverdale? <laughs> Riverdale is a thing. Yeah, I was like, fuck. I'm gonna look up Netflix original shows now because oh! I've already locked in my answer, oh, so oh, I just wanna. Oh, oh, oh. Any cooking show, like any cook. Uh, you, uh, you're chef, gonna have chef, to give me a show. Chef's Table. Oh. oh. Fuck a duck. The second I... Yeah, I'm so mad at myself. I can't change it now, but... Has everybody uh, locked in an answer? Yes. Yeah. Wait, right. Noel, did you actually give an answer? Chef's table. Oh, okay. So, coming in at number five is Queen's Gambit. Really? Wow, really? Huh. Number four is Tiger King. Huh. Yes. Number three... Stranger Things. Wow. Damn it. Number two, the one that was not on the list, The Witcher. Huh. Yeah, I forgot about yeah. The Witcher. Bridgerton is number one. Bridgerton, number one. Wow. Wow. I liked Bridgerton. It was really good. I still haven't watched it. Yeah. I, I don't it. even know what it is. It's really good. Uh, it's about bridges. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that means that the scores in last place is Tom. With eight points. Second place is Connor with seven. And Noel wins it with six. Congrats to yeah. Noel. I, my, I had a new gameplay and my strategy worked out pretty damn nicely. Well done. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I had a strategy and then I forgot to implement it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if that paid off, Tom. Just all threes. <laughs> That's right. You said you were going to start doing that. I'm thinking about it. Just hedge your bets. Yeah. 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 I did a uh, two threes and two twos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't even realize you did that. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That has been. Are you ready to order? It was fun. Yeah. I got. I got a point. It makes me feel a lot better. I think I'm. <laughs> I I haven't taken a look at the point. Uh, the scoreboard. Yeah, I think I'm double my points from last year, uh, last season. Yeah, or... that puts you at 15. You're only three behind Trevor. <laughs> I can catch up. I can catch up. Oh, man. Well, not to me. You can't. But... No, but yeah, Trevor... we, we already know who won. <laughs> yeah. 
Trevor can buy me pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Litecoin money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's, yeah, let's do some uh, Unreal ads. Today's episode of The Never Games is brought to you by Litecoin. <laughs> Listen, cryptocurrency is a problematic thing in a lot of ways. Uh, but if you're going to buy crypto, buy Litecoin. That's what we at the Never Game Zone. So please raise its price. Please. Yeah. Please. Please. Come on. Litecoin. <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Root Beer. If you're not from America, you probably hate it. But if you are from America, <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like sugary trees and it's good. Root Beer. Put it in your face. Is that Put a thing? Do other case. people not like root beer? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you guys know Lad Bible? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, they, do, they do a thing called Snack Wars, with, and it's usually like, and they're based out of the UK, so it's usually like UK snacks versus wherever the guest is from. Oh, yes. And every time, every time root beer is involved, like every person from like England or like if they're not from America is like takes their first sip of root beer and they're like, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They, yeah, the rest of the world. It's not the sugariest soda, but it might be the most sugar forward soda. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I I personally prefer birch beer, but I do too, which I think is sugarier but has a better flavor. Yeah. Today's episode of the Never Games is brought to you by the law offices of Swanson and McDougal. They're here to tell you about the McDonald's lawsuit where they accidentally, rather than selling chicken nuggets, sold nuggets of uranium. If you were in <laughs> the location in Kansas where this occurred, reach out to uh, th that law office. I forgot the name already. <laughs> Swanson, Swanson and McDougal. McDougal. <laughs> Swanson and McDougal. <laughs> and let them know you could be part of a class action lawsuit against the McDonald's Corporation. And uh, the end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Legal warning. McDonald's did, act did not ever actually sell uranium nuggets. Well, you don't know that. Yeah, we don't know that. <laughs> Today's episode McDonald's is legal warning. Enough. They might we're get idiots. Us. Did you did you know that we the introduced this as fake ads? McDonald's nuggets are actually made by Tyson's. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today's episode didn't is know also Mike Tyson. I thought he he was selling weed. I didn't know he was selling chicken nuggets. Today's episode <laughs> is also brought to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's also brought to you by the world's largest adult toy outlet store, Ask Pro Shops. Ask Pro Shops has <laughs> everything you need from, from trout blasters to anchovy squishies. You know what those are, are used for. To largemouth. Ask Pro, Shops ha Ask Pro Shops has everything you need to make a new splash in the bedroom. I should know. They even saved four of my marriages. I mean, not, not all the way. I'm still married four times. Uh, <laughs> so go to AskProShops.com, and if you truly desire the in-person experience, Ask Pro Shops can be found inside any Cabela's outdoor store. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. <laughs> I need to start writing them again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're funny when you put like two minutes of effort in. <laughs> put a lot of work into Swanson and McDougal. <laughs> thank you for listening to another phenomenal episode of the never games the podcast with the highest amount of vitamin c uh, on apple and itunes you can uh <laughs> give us a follow or a listen uh anywhere you get good podcasts and uh hit us up on social media give us a like follow and subscribe or mail us vitamin c we need to keep that rating <laughs> <laughs> We are everywhere, especially if you want to talk to us. That is social media, all, all of the outlets there, the underscore never underscore games. We have an email, hello at the nevergames.com. We also have a cell phone telephone number. So if you ever want to dial on your cell phone telephone, dial the number 406 games 24. That's 406 426 3724. And if you really enjoyed uh, what you heard and you want to uh, and help enable us to continue doing this, uh, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash the never games. Donate as little as $1 a month. And starting today, if you do subscribe to us with the $1 a month uh, donation, you get to pick your very own episode and you will own that episode. 
plenty of nifts. Yeah, 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 there are plenty yeah. of other bonus contents. You can get some drawings from Tom. You can appear on an episode. Anything your little heart desires. And all of this information and lots more is available at our website, thenevergames.com. Go on there to find all of our episodes, lots of other information, and all of the music used on today's show, which was created by the band Good Damn It, which is Noel on everything except for all of the things but the drums and me doing all of the other things. <laughs> Jesus, that was, that was painful to listen to. Uh, thank you for listening to this wonderful episode of The Never Games. We know you had a tough day at work, but hopefully this episode leaves you uh, young and free and feeling fresh. Uh, my name has been and will always be Noel McGinnis. I am Trevor Kelly, at least for now. My name is Tom O'Brien, as far as you know. I am Connor Provost. Good night, Christopher. <laughs> and this has been The Never Games. Do we play games? It's been a sticker box studio's finish. I forgot to actually look up if it costs something. I feel like there's gonna be like some sort of Oh god, I don't get this on so many levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's sell these episodes, but don't listen to them, it'll lose value. <laughs> I don't know who the Charger official mascot is. Like, it's terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> is it? Yeah, he's not a very good yeah. captain, so the ship's just on land. <laughs> you cannot defeat me before I have part of you, Connor. <laughs> Dennis Quaid will live on in the concept of the wild will. Did you, get, did you guys get that? that? That was an often pertinent day after tomorrow reference. <laughs>